Well, it seems like the emotional damage that I've endured from my countless 50-50 losses has made me remember that I do indeed have a YouTube channel. Brother, ugh. What's that? I can confidently say that I have made many poor decisions in my life, and one of those being that I play more than one gacha game at a time. It does mean, however, that I get to look at a lot of flashy effects from characters that are tempting me to go bankrupt. When I get my hands on you, Aventurine, I promise I'll treat you like the king that you are. I also feel like it's my obligation to talk shit about them. Because of that, my name is Rain, allegedly, and I'm going to badly describe every single Honkai Star Rail character's playstyle. Except for the trailblazers, I guess. Himiko, she has a fucking orbital gun. I can't be asked. I can't even go on with the rest of the characters on this list. This is a great start. Welt makes enemies move as slowly as he does with his old man bones. Danang smacks people with a stick. March 7th, perky defensive support stereotype. Kafka, she's too impatient to wait for damage over time, so she turns it into damage right now. The lady has a busy schedule traumatizing people with mommy issues, come on. Silverwolf, literal cheat codes as gameplay. Arlen, so they just made self-serious Hutao, okay. Asta, she's so rich that her wealth literally makes your team go faster. Herta, you know exactly what's about to come right now. Japard. Bronya, you get a turn, and you get a turn, and you get a turn, everybody gets a turn. Zila, oh shit, I guess it's still my turn. Clara, okay, but if Topaz is called Topaz and Numbi, shouldn't she really be called Clara and Svarog? Sambo, so a crooked merchant is a damage over time character. I mean, it makes sense. I don't know how to describe it, but he fights as if he's about to be arrested for jaywalking and petty theft. Kayla uses laser guns to debuff enemies? I'm sure there's a cooler way to use laser guns. Come on, be creative, Kayla. Saval, remember when rock concerts were lethal? Natasha, she has heels as big as a... I have to stop myself from making any kind of joke relating to abundance. So let's just say... I mean, she's a doctor. Were you expecting her to be a hunt character? Wait. Zero points, zero points. Next. Hook must... Resist, Klee, Reference, Jing Yuan. Yang Ching. Imagine if Chong Yun and Xing Chou had a descendant that was a DPS, and you're very close to describing Yang Ching. I made another Genshin reference, oh my god. Bai Lu, the only healer who can resurrect party members, which means that she's S plus tier for people like me who are dog shit at this game. Ting Yun, she dances, and you get buffs. And she's a fox. Yeah, they knew what they were doing, yeah? Sushang, the only thing you need to know about her is that she summons a giant chicken for her ultimate. That's literally all you need to know. I'm not going to describe anything else. That, that's literally all you need to know. Chingchua, Ayo, we heard you like gacha. So what we did, we put gacha game mechanics inside of your gacha character's gameplay. Shuehi, another DPS character to push the mono quantum agenda. Dr. Ratio educates you by throwing you with chalk and breaking architecture over your head like it's a bla he's actually the goofy little ho his name is dr ratio what did i expect not that five points <laughs> ruan may breaks enemy weaknesses as much as she will break your spirit hanya oh my god hi and bye lune big fan of your work Argenti, living proof that moisturizer and metrosexuality are the aoe character meta hua hua Argenti's new best friend, and no, I did not know how to pronounce her name before this video. Useless brat. Topaz and Numbi, like a true capitalist, she lets her assistant do all the work for her. Gwenifen, given that she's a social media influencer, it makes sense that she'd inflict damage over time and debuffs. Given the damage over time, the online world does your sanity. In Bible de Lune, Dan Hung. Dan Hung gets a glow up and becomes the best destruction character in the game as he drags these nuts. Stop it. Get some help. Jing Lu, how the fuck did they already power creep in Bible de Lune? Fushuan, she foresaw a future where you literally never die. Unless it's simulated universe and it's so over. Lynx, okay, so fuck Natasha then, I guess. Luca, if Deku from My Hero Academia was a damage over time character. Blade, when DPS is actually a shorthand way of writing the word depression. Yukon, you know when they're a support character, but they have all the aggression of a character that wants to be a DPS. Luocha, just literally put him in your team and go make a cup of tea. You're not dying anytime soon.
Misha, I genuinely do not know what this kid does and do not lie to me, neither do you. Gallagher, heals you by making the enemies drunk and rugby kicking them in the crotch. He's also Wolverine, I guess. Black Swan, okay, we can actually stop giving Kafka buffs now. On that note, can we stop giving Jing Yuan buffs now as well? He's getting random buffs all over the place. He doesn't need buffs, he just needs one good night of sleep because this poor man. Sparkle, you can't fix her, but she can fix you with extra skill points. And also emotional and mental torment. I feel like a worrying amount of you people would still take that deal though. Acheron, interdimensional transcendental anime style bullshit. I mean this lovingly by the way, she's the best. I am very sure I just described all of those in the most serious and accurate way possible. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the thumbs up and that strange button that says subscribe, but for now, What's a Star Rail version of the Genshin goodbye that I do? Full speed ahead? Trailblazer? I don't fucking know. Bye. Have a good day.